Hey, yo, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, back in Harlem, USA. I got a question for the men of greatness out there, men of striving for greatness. Real simple question. Are you humble? Cut that shit out, man. I'm gonna tell you why I need to cut that shit out. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of rule. Humble. Be humble, man. Be humble, Cab. Be humble. You too arrogant. You conceited. You think you all of that? Yes, I do. Because I am. See, all my life, by one person or another, <clears throat> in different stages of my life, I've been called arrogant or conceited. Right? But those that know me and my upbringing, Know that I'm one of the most humble men you'll ever meet in your life. Okay? Humbleness, though, is only reserved for the creator. That's the only force that I will humble myself to. And guess what? The creator, the most high, God, that force is within me. And it's within you too, whether you know it or not. Right? So, this whole notion of being, being humble and staying humble, when you're a man of greatness, okay? You're a man striving for greatness and you're a man of accomplishments humbleness does not benefit you first of all the definition of humbleness people have confused this definition have you looked up the definition of humble a humble person humble is poor humble is lowly it's it's about like dimming your light the only men and women who have ever told me to humble myself or that I need to be humbled were men and women who felt uncomfortable around me due to how bright my light shines. Okay? My light has always shined bright and it will never dim. And I'm not going to dim it for you or him or her. When people don't know how to shine their light or they don't understand the light of their of their energy they feel uncomfortable around you when you've mastered your light you see what i'm saying so they they're uncomfortable around you because you shine too bright and they don't feel they can shine when you're in the room with them so what they'll say is humble yourself and that's their problem. That's not your problem. Right? That's not my problem. That you don't know how to shine your light. Now the women that have told me I need to humble myself. Okay, they were trying to take me down a notch so they could manipulate me. Right? <laughs> you know the game, you know the tricks, the trade. Oh, he thinks too highly of himself. Let me take him down a notch. Let me insult him. Let me insult his ego. Right? The men that have tried to humble me or told me I need to humble myself, again, they felt inferior. This dude right here, he's shining too bright. Petty shit. Oh, the women are looking at him or they're talking to him. Nah, we can't have that. I should be in the position he's in, so he needs to humble himself. Man, shut up. 
You know what I'm saying? Get your life together. Y'all brothers out here are silly. That's feminine shit. That's feminine traits. Wanting to humble some man because he he's a he's attracting too many women or whatever the f was on your mind. Listen, man. You goofy. That's goofy time. And I'll leave you all over there on goofy time. Over here, men of greatness respect men of greatness. Men with healthy egos respect other men with healthy egos. Men of ambition, men of assertiveness respect other men of like kind. We don't hate, we're not jealous, none of that shit. Because we understand each other. See, real recognize real, right? Real also will recognize fake. You dig what I'm saying? But check this out. Fake also recognizes real. And fake also recognizes fake. Think about that. Your favorite people in this world are not humble. Your favorite artists, your favorite uh, athletes, your favorite whoever, the great ones, they're not humble because they know how great they are. Even preachers, men of the cloth, uh, uh, scholars, holy men, these men are not humble. That's just, that's what you think they are. Okay, talk to somebody, talk to them. You heard preachers talk. They think they're closer to God than you are. How can they be humble? You think Gandhi was humble, right? Come on, man. Look into the life of Gandhi. All these people, I'm telling you right now, prove me wrong. Do the research yourself. These people think very highly of themselves. As they should. They've gathered more of a certain something than you have. They've put in that work. They should not feel like they're on your level. They're not. you to tell them that they need to be humble after everything they've achieved in life or the hard work they put in against all odds against all uh, barriers and obstacles in their way you gonna tell them to be humble just say you jealous just say you jealous and you don't you don't you don't know how to shine your light that's all See, that's respectable. But telling me I need to be humble as if you are above me. No, that's unacceptable. There's no man above me. There's no woman above me. Okay? Because I love me. Listen. If you're a man of greatness or seeking greatness, you're a man of experience. You're a man of great knowledge. You're a man of ambition, okay? When you walk into a room full of men, especially the rooms I walk into, okay? Millionaires, celebrities, VIPs, different type of people, different industries. You gotta let these men know, even though they might have more money in you or more, more, more status than you, that you are a force to be reckoned with. You understand what I'm saying? They need to know your resume. Because if they don't, it's highly likely that they will treat you or speak to you in a certain type of way because they don't know who you are. They need to know that they can't just f with me.
they can't manipulate me. They can't belittle me. You understand what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. Because I'm not humble. See, I'm confident. I exude confidence. Confidence is the opposite of humbleness. It's not arrogance. Although arrogance is the brother of confidence. Because you have to have a little bit of arrogance or a healthy dose of arrogance to be a man of greatness. You got to have a healthy ego. That's another thing I've heard, of course. You know, egotistical. Your ego's so big. My ego is supposed to be big. If I don't feel, think highly of myself, then neither will you. But see, the thing about me is all the talents I have and skills, I've been called a genius 39 times in my life. Since I was a child to now, in my 40s. The reason why I know it's 39 times is I've counted every single time. So if I've been called a genius 39 times, why, why can I not call myself a genius? I know who I am. I know exactly who I am. I'm very self-aware. And see, that, that is a threat to people who are not self-aware. They want you to be humble. Eat some humble pie. Nah, I love apple pie, my man. Okay? Bl blueberry pie, baby. I don't eat humble pie. You can save that shit. See, ego and arrogance is a alpha male's trait as well as a sigma man's trait. It's not a, a female trait, honestly. Women are not supposed to be so egotistical or arrogant, though they are. But that's a, that's a male thing because we have to assert dominance. I'm not afraid of you. I can go toe to toe with you in any topic we're discussing. You see what I'm saying? And if I don't know nothing about that topic, I just shut up and listen. I gather information and knowledge and wisdom. But I'm not going to be humble. That shit is stupid. F humbleness, man. And f your feelings, okay? If you, th if you have a problem with me being confident or a little arrogant or you got a problem with my healthy ego, everything I've accomplished in my life, my whole resume, okay? The reason why I'm respected in different industries and all around the world is because of my ego, my arrogance, my confidence because it's all backed up with the skill and talent and execution so you can't f with me you dig no you stay humble mother Fletcher <laughs> humble hey I got this shit twisted you really got it up. You can never be a man of any greatness by staying humble. Assert yourself. Be assertive. Be strong. Be dominant. But have discipline. Know when to turn it on and off. That comes with wisdom. Okay? And teachings. Okay? There's plenty of books on this shit. There's, there's all kind of information. Do the work. Do the knowledge. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And I am the opposite of humble. These are confessions of a Mother Fletcher lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of